Hi, this is Stacia. I'm going to do a uh, quick two minute Tuesday message for CPDS. Let me go ahead and share my screen. What I'm going to do today is show you how to enter a show, um, one of the CPDS shows using Horse Show Office and online entry. It's a very simple system, and let me show you how it works. So I've loaded here on the on your screen. You you can see the um, homepage for Horse Show Office. So I'm going to go and click on events, and I want to enter the Labor Day show Central Plains, and then. I'm scrolling down, looking for the shows that start on September 2nd. So there's the CPDS show on September 2nd. And I'm underneath it, there's a button that says enter. So I'm going to click on that entry button. And all I need to enter this show is the USD, D as in dog number, for my horse. So I'm going to go ahead and put in Lupo's USDF number. And I'm going to click Next. And as you can see, all his information is already loaded. And I'm going to click on the bottom, Continue with this horse. Next, I'm going to put in my number. And click Next. And there's my information. So that all looks good. I'm going to click Continue with this rider. And for the trainer, I'm just going to say the trainer is the same as the rider. If it's not the same, you're going to want to enter the trainer's USDF number there. So now I've got my horse, the rider, the trainer. I'm not, I'm not going to have a coach. A coach is the person that might get on the horse um, at the show. I'm going to continue without coach that. And I'm going to enter a couple of classes. Let's say on Saturday, I think I'm going to do the musical freestyle test of choice. So I'm going to, I've gone down to class 41 and now I'm just scrolling through the test of choice options, which are um, uh, listed under class 41. So I want to do fourth level with great American qualifying. So I click that one. And since I'm um, an older person and my horse is older, I only ever do one, one test each day. So on Sunday, I think maybe Maybe I'll enter pre-St. George with qualifying. So those are my classes that I've selected. And now I'm going to put my division, which is adult amateur, and I'm going to click next at the bottom. I do need a stall. So I'm going to click stall with mats. That's the only option. I only need one. And I'm going to stable with Jaws Racing. I don't have any special requests. I'm not arriving early. The horse is not for sale. So everything looks good here. I'm already a member. I don't need to join there. I'm not going to do extra shavings. Um, so I'll just click next. Now, if I had an additional request that I wanted the show secretary to know about, I would put it here. Like, please schedule early because I don't do well with heat. And the show secretary will do their best to accommodate that. So I've clicked the next button and everything looks good here. This shows me all of my fees. And then I put everything, everything looks good. I don't need to go back and change anything. So I click proceed to payment. And I don't actually want to pay now because, um, you know, I don't. <laughs> I would rather bring a check to the show. So I just click mail payment. I put in my email address and then I click complete entry. A lot of people do go ahead and pay at the time of the show with their PayPal account. I'm just not because I wanted to show you that this was an option. So it's do, it's processing that uh, entry and then I'll get some sort of a uh, confirmation that there's my entry with complete with the number. So that's how you do a um, online entry. If you have questions, send me an email, gtgray at aol.com. Thanks for watching.